Hey, it's Horner again, and this is 1997 AP Physics B, free response question number one. Uh, and this is kind of an interesting one. You have a 0.2 kilogram object. It's being moved in a straight line. There's a force that acts on it. And then you'll notice at 12 meters, the force becomes less and less and less until there's no force acting on it at all. They want to know the acceleration of the particle when its displacement is six meters. So there's six meters. Notice that there is four uh, newtons of force on there. So we know that the force is equal to mass times acceleration. If we solve this for acceleration, that'd just be force over mass. And so this one simply is just, we're going to do our force at six is four. And we're going to divide that by M. Now be careful because M is not displacement here. M is mass. And the mass here is 0.2 kilograms. So if you divide the two, you'll end up with 20 meters per second squared. And that's all there is to that one. It's worth three points. You get one point here, one for filling it in, and one for the correct answer with the correct unit. Next part of this one is letter B. It says the time taken for the object, uh, it wants to know the time taken for the object to be displaced for the first 12 meters. So that's all the way across here. To do that, we can just use the, uh, the really easy kinematic equation. Uh, we've got the position, final position is equal to the original position plus the original speed times time plus one half of the acceleration times time squared. Let's plug everything in. We have 12 meters is our final position. Original position is zero. Original velocity is zero. And so we're just going to add to that one half of the acceleration we got in the last part, which was 20 times the time squared. If we rearrange this for time, it's going to be time is equal to the square root. Uh, let's make that look a little better. Of 2 times 12 all over 20. And that answer is 1.1 seconds. So our time for that object to be displaced over to the 12 is about 1.1 seconds. Next question here says, uh, for letter C, the amount of work done by the net force in displacing the object the first 12 meters. And if you remember, work is simply just equal to force times distance. And if you think about that graph that we've got, uh, it comes over and then it goes down. And right here is where the 12 meters is. Uh, we know that the force is equal to um, our 4 newtons. So this is the force in newtons. This is the displacement in meters. And so all we have to do here is just take 4 times 12, and you would end up with 48 joules. So it's really just the area underneath the line here, uh, bound by the 12 and by the 0. So it's just the area of this uh, rectangle that you have. The next thing that they want us to do is they want us to find, and that part was worth uh, just two points. So one point for basically just doing this part and one point for filling it in and getting the right answer. Uh, next part is to go through and figure out the speed of the object at the displacement of 12 meters. So this one we can actually use energy to figure it out. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to say that the work is equal to the change in the kinetic energy. And we started with no kinetic energy, so here we're going to take the kinetic energy final, minus the original kinetic energy. Final kinetic energy is 1 half mv squared. Original kinetic energy, because our original speed was 0, is 0, so we just put a 0 in. So that'd be 1 half of um, the mass. Now, they want to know the speed. so. Remember, our work that was done here was 48 joules. So we're going to have one half of the mass. The mass is 0.2. Then we have speed squared. So we're going to rearrange it for V. So we're just going to plug all this in here again. Um, and uh, we've got V is equal to the square root of 2 times 48. So we're just rearranging this equation divided by 0.2. And we end up with our uh, speed, which is 22 meters per second. 
the very last thing that they want us to do is they do want us to go through and try to find out what is the speed of the object at the very end. So at a displacement of 20 meters. What we need to do on this one is go back to our graph again and we, uh, we know that there's a force applied for the first 12. There's still a force applied so it's still going to speed up all the way to the 20 meters. But um, notice that the force is going down more and more and more. What we can do is we already know that this is 48 joules here. Let's find out what is the area of this triangle so we can figure out how much more energy we get from this. Um, this is going to be one half of the base times the height. So we're going to do one half of and 20 minus 18. And that's times the height and the height is four. And so uh, now what we're going to do is 20 minus 18 times 4. Um, and that should give us, let's just make sure this is correct. Oops, sorry, 20 minus 12. 20 minus 12. And 20 minus 12 is 8. So this would be 1 half of 8 times 4. And we'll end up with uh, total work for the whole thing of, uh, well, just for this part, is going to be 16 joules. So we know that we have 16 joules of energy here, 48 joules of energy here. So the whole thing is going to be 48 plus 16. And that's the amount of work done. So we're going to do 48 plus 16. So here we go. We're going to do 48 joules plus 16 joules. And if you add those two together, we get 64 joules. Remember, we said work is equal to the change in kinetic energy. We didn't have any to begin with, but we do have some in the end. Uh, and we said that was equal to um, uh, the work here is just the force times the distance, uh, or it was the change in the kinetic energy. And so the kinetic energy here is 1 half mv squared, and that's equal to work. Our work is 64 joules. That's equal to one half of the mass, and the mass, remember, is 0.2, and then we multiply that times v squared, so v is equal to the square root of 2 times 64, all divided by 0.2. And so our speed here is 25.3 meters per second, and that is the end of this problem.